DJ put it back on. One of my most favorite games in the world is League of Legends and my favorite champion from the game is actually Ari. And Ari has a skin that, I bet you can guess it, K-pop inspired by the lovely girl group Girls Generation. So definitely keep watching to skip this look for either Halloween or even a cosplay event. So first off, we're going to do more of like a traditional Korean eyebrow, so try to keep your eyebrows nice and straight. Next up is to prime your eyelids since we are moving on to the eye makeup. Next, taking a cream pink eyeliner pencil, line the outer edge. You can wing it out a bit to create that kind of fox-like eye. I'll be using the Pony Shine Easy Glam 2 eyeshadow palette, and I'll be taking the Shine Rose color and patting it all over my eyelids. Next up, taking a burgundy eyeshadow on a pencil-like eyeshadow brush, you're going to create more of like a cat eye effect on the outer corner. Now grab one of your favorite black liquid eyeliners. This one's actually pretty black and easy to use. The best way to draw your eyeliner is to start from the middle and then work your way slowly to the outer corners and then draw back to the inner corner and connect the line. That'll be easier to control and you want to create a cat eye shape because we're trying to make our eyes look more fox-like. Grab that burgundy color and that shine rose color and put it on the outer lash line. And take any black pencil eyeliner and darken the outer corner waterline. You also want to line the inner corners to create more of that point fox-like eye. And take any shimmery champagne color and highlight the inner corners of the eye. I'm adding a medium brown to the outer corners to create a little bit more depth. Next step is to curl your eyelashes and apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Using an ash brown color to contour, you want to contour the size of your nose to create more of like of a pointy nose. As well as your cheekbones to create sharp cheekbones and also under your jawline to create that V shape. definitely need to shine so highlighter is a must and you want to highlight the center of your nose, your cupid's bow, your cheekbones, and anywhere else you like. I'm taking this blush, I'm going to just swipe a few dots on my face and pat it with my fingers to blend. And I forgot to actually draw on the whiskers for this, so I really apologize. I know that the whiskers are pretty essential to the RE look. First lip product, we are going to use a light pink color. We're going to apply this one all over the lips first. Then we're going to use this darker pink to apply it to the center of the lips to create that grainy look which is of course is very popular in Korean and K-pop culture. So 
So the makeup look is actually completed and it's now time to get the costume And now for the wig, I don't have a wig cap So I'm just going to pin my bangs back and then just tie my hair into a low ponytail I bought this blonde wig from G Market. I'm not sure what shop it is, but just make sure you brush your wig before you put it onto your hair. Now for wigs, you put the top part first and then you adjust it according to your head. So that's what I'm doing right now. Maybe I should go all blonde. I was really wanting to. This may be making me want to be more K-pop style. Step is to clip in the ears. And of course, attach the hat. Your pop star Ari makeup look is completed. I'll catch you guys later on the Summoner's Rift. <laughs> 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 <laughs>